Hello, my name's Charlotte and welcome to my craft room. This is week two of our knit along challenge and I hope you've got on really well this week with all your knitting projects. The square pattern that we're doing this week is called ridged bricks. If you'd like a copy of the pattern, I'm posting them on my Handmade by Charlotte Facebook page. And don't forget, if you need a reminder of the basic knitting stitches, you can look back week one of the knit along challenge. Let's get knitting. So for this one, um, it's a the whole pattern takes place over 16 rows. So um, if I were you, I'd print out the pattern, which you can get on my Facebook page, the Handmade by Sharla Facebook page. And uh, I would print it out and have it in front of you and just tick off perhaps which row. I mean, I just tend to have a, a book with me and just mark off which rows I've done. So the first thing to do is to cast on and we've got 33 stitches for this square and the first row will be just a knit row so um, we can get on and knit our first row of knitting okay and you'll see from the pattern if you're looking at it in front of you that actually the first one two and three rows are all knit rows so we'll get on and knit our next two rows of knit then so we have our first three rows done um, in knit stitch and i've marked them off on my my page to remind me where i am and row four it says purl three knit three purl three or p3 k3 so we remember how we did our purl stitch so we pop it in so that the yarn the working yarns at the front do three purl stitches okay then we take the needle the, the sorry the yarn round the needle and do three knit stitches So we do another knit row. So our row five was a knit row and that's been done. Row six, as you can see from the pattern, is the same as we did in row four. So it's three purl, and three knit. So rows 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 are all knit rows. As you can see on the pattern, it asks us to knit three first. So we knit three. And there we go. And row 13 is a knit row. And you can see quite nicely now how this pattern is taking shape isn't it pretty row 14 is a repeat of row 12 so we start off knitting three and the needle and purl three and we do that to the end the final two rows of the pattern are knit rows And there we have our first 16 rows of our pattern. And I think you'll agree, it's very pretty. And you can see why it's called ridged bricks. So those 16 rows that we've just gone through, they form the, initial, the, the pattern itself. And obviously to make a square, we need to repeat that pattern. I ended up doing three repeats of the pattern, so 48 rows. Um, it will depend on your tension and how you knit as to how many you end up doing. So I'm going to cast off now. It will just be a knitted cast off. So there we go. Our next square is finished. And don't forget, if you like this pattern, you can knit it as many times as you like. Join me next time for the next square. Bye for now.